हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स टुडे इन आवर प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट एंड कंजर्वेशन वेल अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट वेल डिफाइन एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट एंड वेल डिस्कस द सिस्टमेटिक स्टेप वाइज प्रोसीजर टू फॉलो energy management in any organization so let's start introduction to energy management global energy demand was around 15 and half billion ton of oil equivalent in year 2020 presently the major share of this global energy demand comes from fossil fuel oil coal and gas and the contribution of non fossil fuel in this global energy demand is small the study shows that In a span of 20 year the world energy consumption will grow by an amount of around 30% with growing demand majorly contributed by fossil fuel oil coal and gas and simultaneously shrinking of the supply of these fossil fuel naturally cause a steep rise in cost of energies so there is a great concern of industrial activity the rising cost of energies now apart from rising cost of energies nowadays regulator world over are pushing for more stringent sustainability environmental social and governance esg standards and industries of all corner of the world has to follow new stringent sustainability environmental regulations where they have to control carbon footprints otherwise they have to pay carbon taxes they have to control climate change manage their waste they have to establish and control every sort of pollution by appropriate monitoring and these regulations are so stringent that if any industry won't follow as per these norms they have to stop their production activities The International Standard Organization has released ISO 50001 a short of energy management system standards in the year 2011 and the basic objective of ISO 50001 is more efficient use of available energy resources so that the competitiveness among energy user can be enhanced along with the more important the reduction in greenhouse gases emission to control global warming if we study energy use in india then we'll find that energy intensity per unit of gross domestic production gdp in india is much higher than world average and this clearly indicate that we in india are using energy inefficiently and there exists a huge scope for conservation of energy by efficient energy management and we can save energy worth of 8.67 million ton of oil equivalent or 5635 megawatt of electricity and this is equivalent to 1.25% of total india energy demand of all primary energy supply and this will mean a saving of worth rupee 9500 crores we can define the concept of energy management and definition of energy management can be stated like this the judicious and effective use of energy to maximize profits in industrial or institutional activities by minimizing costs of energy resources and the purpose of energy management is to enhance competitive position of organization and also to minimize all environmental ill effects of energy use we can have another comprehensive definition of energy management the strategy of adjusting and optimizing energy using appropriate systems and procedures so as to reduce energy requirement per unit of output produced without affecting the quantity of production or quality of products and simultaneously energy management has to minimize all environmental effects 
सो वी कैन से फंडामेंटल गोल ऑफ एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट इज टू प्रोड्यूस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज विद द लीस्ट एनर्जी कॉस्ट एंड ऑल्सो विद लीस्ट इन्वायरमेंटल इफेक्ट सो बोथ फिनेंशियल आस्पेक्ट एंड इन्वायरमेंटल आस्पेक्ट आर इम्पोर्टेंट इन एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट एंड एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट इज अ प्रो एक्टिव ऑर्गेनाइज एंड सिस्टमेटिक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी यूज टू सेटिस्फाई बोथ एनवायरमेंटल एंड इकोनॉमिकल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट इज असेंशियल फॉर डीलिंग विद राइजिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ एनर्जी यूजेज एंड स्ट्रिंजेंट regulatory requirement related to environmental concerns and energy management is the systematic use of management tools and technology to improve energy performance both from environmental point of view and financial economic point of view like any other management energy management also needs top level commitment for better energy efficiency performance in any organization now this high level commitment will provide advocacy among all senior managers about the importance of energy management this will give a visibility of energy management issue across organization the commitment of top management also required to motivate and implement energy management in organization and this will provide all required resources whether they are human resources or financial resources for energy management energy management in any organization is a cyclic process and energy management doesn't always involve complicated analysis of lot of information or investment of a huge big capital for energy management a good energy manager can monitor and consolidate the energy data can analyze energy spending profile over a given time so this will provide understanding of energy use and after that a systematic planning and organization good decision making and appropriate action to implement energy management can provide results and those results can be verified monitored and as per reports modification can be made and this cycle of energy management can be continued so we can say energy management is a process of tracking and optimizing energy consumption and in fact energy management is a mean to reduce operating costs of energy uses in any organization after commitment from top level management of a company energy management in an organization become a cyclic process of four steps in first step we have to understand energy use information and then a systematic planning and organization of work is done and actions of energy conservations are implemented and those actions are verified monitored and as per report appropriate modification is made and the same cyclic operation is repeated again and again for energy conservation it means we have to first collect and analyze all energy related data or metering information of energy consumption and analysis of those collected data identify energy conservation opportunity and accordingly we have to optimize our equipment schedules set their operating points or flow rate of different process parameters and that will improve our energy efficiency and save energy many a times we have to make uh, some investment on energy improvement processes so we have to calculate return on investment and as per results of that calculation we make investment and execute energy optimization solutions and we have to track the progress on ongoing improvement by verification monitoring and then we have to repeat the same stepped procedure continuously to optimize energy efficiencies so energy management is a loop process of four steps in first step energy data are collected and analyzed and energy conservation opportunities are identified then actions are taken on those targeted energy efficiency program and they are tracked and accordingly modifications are made and the same loop process of four step is repeated to optimize energy uses 
now as per iso 50001 guideline plan do check and act cycle is embedded in energy management and after planning energy conservation actions are performed and then they are checked and after checking reports actions are taken to modify the cyclic process nowadays when complicated processes involve large amount of energy information and data then such big data analysis to identify energy conservation opportunities can only be performed by computerized software systems and by that we can even improve and obtain a new energy conservation opportunity even in a system that are believed to be very close to optimum performance so there always exist possibilities of improvement the first step of four step energy management process is data collection now the energy data come from our monthly utility bill of energy consumption or from manual meter checks or nowadays we are using smart meters they can automatically upload energy related informations to required platform now these data of energy should possess details in terms of time area type of production activity so that appropriate and accurate analysis can be performed nowadays the data and information of smart meters can be processed by computer systems using dedicated software platforms like any other management in energy management also we have to control and meter only the main energy use function of an organization we have to bother only about significant key energy consumption activities not the all hazard data of energy consumption as only 20% function of an organization usually consume more than 80% of their energy cost after data collection and analysis the second step of energy management is identification of opportunities or energy conservation opportunities ecos the investigation comparison and analysis of energy use data give vital information about excessive energy consumption or increase in energy cost in our processes or wasteful applications nowadays we can use energy management software solutions to visualize trends and we can assess the performance of our organization against the various standard benchmarks of energy consumption of other organization of similar nature such computerized software solutions are especially useful when we are dealing with use amount of real time data and are interested to explore energy saving opportunities in our organization after data collection and analysis and identification of energy conservation opportunity the third step of energy management is action step now it involve appropriate actions for energy saving on identified energy conservation opportunities now in energy management when we take actions some actions may be one off fix and single individual can make those actions while many other may need more internal cooperation and persuasion all through the organization among different departments of organization that may involve administrative purchase engineering financial operation and maintenance housekeeping all engineering sections health and safety hr department now building support for energy management action is very important when everyone of industry agrees and understand the concern for energy management the problem of energy management then energy manager or the team of energy management can build momentum in industry for energy management activities and can take action smoothly and can solve the problem of wasteful energy activities the easiest and most cost effective energy saving action is walk through type only and simple user awareness can create good amount of saving potential which typically require little or no cost of investment for energy saving actions and now they may involve switching of equipment to off position at the end of each working the correction of faulty timers control equipment settings 
repair of all short of leaks enhancement of weak insulations good housekeeping measures some system improvement where we can replace or upgrade inefficient equipment and these small actions have a saving potential of 3 to 10 percent of our energy use without much investment the fourth and the final step of energy management is very important for success of cyclic process where we track progress and suggest ongoing improvement and in this tracking process all actions and process implementations to save energy are tracked as per ongoing improvement schedule and during implementation we'll find some new problems coming in front of us over time and some old problem may also reoccur to ensure success of energy optimization initiative in a long run all progress should be monitored the obtained savings are verified and in case of abnormality found in tracking process a quick response is necessary make sure that our energy management system can provide us a regular performance report and timely alert with accuracy and reliability a quick reporting will let us to address the problem of energy inefficiency immediately many a time continuous comparison of monthly bills into a simple spreadsheet is very simple and can also assure so many things that will keep us and our energy management program on track we use energy of different form electricity gas fuel water others in an organization and energy management is a cyclic process of monitoring controlling and conserving all sort of energies ideally energy management is a ongoing effort to find new saving opportunities by continuous monitoring of energy consumption data and analyzing those now this energy management process engage all over employees in energy management process and track their progress for energy conservation and energy management energy management produce several advantages to an organization whether that is an industrial organization making some production or a institution providing services energy management reduce cost of operation in many organization energy represent 15 to 50 percent of all operating cost and if one improve energy efficiency consume less energy then they also reduce their cost of operation and this will enhance their profitability a good energy management reduce carbon emission and all related global damage that are caused by increased carbon emission it improve environment and ensure our sustainability goals and regulatory requirements energy management in an organization also reduce risk of operation as energy prices are increasing with a pace less dependence and consumption of energy will decrease debt dependency and reduce risk of operation and ensure profitable and sustainable existence of industry energy management also produce some multiple non energy intangible benefits of operation they will improve product quality industrial ambience and motivation level of employees and they all become co benefit of energy efficiency improvement energy management is a continuous process that is developed over time in any organization the vital priorities of energy management are as they should understand organization energy use the cost involved in energy use and all legal obligation related to environment concerns of energy use energy management should gain support of senior management and allocate all required human and financial resources for energy management they should develop energy policy and initiate the appropriate strategy for energy management in organization they must work to execute energy management throughout the organization and achieve gains and goals of energy management when any organization make investment decision for their operational activities as operational cost or some 
establishment activities capital cost investment there are two major driving factor in that decision making one is organization has to be economically competitive in global marketplace and for competitive existence they must be energy efficient in their operation and secondly they have to meet the stringent and increasing environmental standard to reduce air and water pollution by organization activities and energy management has been an important tool to help organization to meet these critical objectives and for short term survival and long term success of any organization the role of energy management is very critical we hope this small learning video has explained the concept of energy management in any organization and we could also now understand the four step cyclic operation of energy management our other learning video of the same energy management playlist are equally useful to enhance your confidence and understanding level of energy management the same video is also available in hindi language and link for that is given in description happy learning have nice time thank you very much